So it might not be the newest phone on the block, but it's the first Nokia device on Verizon Wireless in a very long time, and it is also the first Windows Phone device, or one of the first Windows Phone devices on Verizon Wireless in quite a while. Those things make it significant, so let's do an unboxing, a hardware tour, and a first boot for the Nokia Lumia 822 on Verizon Wireless. I'm Michael Fisher. This is PocketNow.com. Let's get to it. Okay, so taking a look at the packaging here, we can see that uh, Verizon and Nokia have collaborated pretty closely on this. Uh, bright red Verizon branding with the Verizon 4G LTE sticker there. Some phone features on the back. Let's just take a look at it, telling you that it's a Nokia Lumia 822 with a LiPo battery. What's included in the box and not much else, just a bunch of legalese down there, and then there's a label on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take the sleeve right off. Discard that. That pattern is repeated on the inside, nothing on the back, so let's go ahead and pop this open. This is a true unboxing this time around. Have not been inside the box yet. We don't even know what color we're getting, and it's white. Hooray! Well, that sounds like fun. Pop the device out of the box real quickly. Still cold from, from sitting on the, the stoop there. We'll go ahead and put that aside for a second, see what else is inside here. Ah! Heavy container means there's things in here we don't want to miss. In this case, product safety and warranty information. Well, maybe we'll miss that for now. What else we got here? This is a Nokia AC charger that we've become familiar with on the Lumia 810 and 920, which we've reviewed. The USB cable and big old battery. Literature on the battery telling us this is an 1800 milliamp hour unit. Just popping our SIM into place here, we can see that this is the same SIM tray under micro SD card slot arrangement as we saw on the Lumia 810. Also, while we're in here, we'll let you know that the battery door is very, very thick and is surprisingly heavy, very high quality. No doubt in our minds that this is going to survive quite a few instances of removing it and replacing it. Battery door snaps in securely. And we have SIM insertion instructions and call outs for the various buttons and controls on the screen protector, which we'll go ahead and take off now. Very nice. And there, propped up on its packaging to keep the glare off the display, is our device, the Nokia Lumia 822, a custom build for Verizon Wireless. Just kind of take a tour around the hardware here. As you can see, this is not the thinnest phone in the world. Far from it. This is an 11.2 millimeter thick device. You can really feel that thickness in the hand. Down on the bottom is the typical Windows Phone 8 home, back, and search keys. The Verizon branding on this rather pronounced chin below the display uh, callout. Power button, volume up and down, and the dedicated camera button that is required for Windows phones. Up top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack what we assume to be a noise-canceling microphone up top. Nothing on the left-hand side. We come around to the back, and we see the same shape lens housing uh, as we see on the 810 and the 920, calling out the Carl Zeiss optics and the 8-megapixel autofocus camera. The device is 142 grams, which feels substantial in the hand, but nowhere near as substantial as the Nokia Lumia 920, which we'll get into more in a comparison video. This glossy finish is similar to that on the Lumia 920, but because the battery cover is removable, there's a bit of a hollow sound when you tap on it that's a little bit different. Now that we have the SIM inserted, we'll go ahead and press the power button for our first boot with SIM card. Carrier branding on the very first splash screen we see. We'll note here that this device is powered by a Qualcomm S4 dual-core processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. That's backed up by a gig of RAM, and storage is 16 gigs on board, but that is expandable as we just saw inside with a micro SD card. Nokia splash screen has come up. As you can see now, we've got illumination on those back home and search keys that were a little bit difficult to see before. And while we continue to wait for this boot, we'll just have a look at the USB port and left and right speakers there. Left and right speaker ports, at least. And now we get to finish setting up a few things. Well, thank you for your help, Windows Phone. 
we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll accept those remaining terms, and this should be it. Boom. There's our home screen, the bright red Verizon Wireless branding dominating everything. We already have our Windows Live account logged in. There's our welcome text message. Software seems to be running in accord with the way it should be. So, looks like it's time for us to download the apps we need and move in to our Nokia Lumia 822 for the first time. Hope you enjoyed our unboxing, hardware tour, and first boot of the Nokia Lumia 822. Stay tuned in the days ahead. We're going to have a comparison video and, of course, our full review video in addition to the full review at pocketnow.com, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, throw us a like here on YouTube if you like what you saw. Follow us on Twitter. Pocketnow Tweets is the official account. Follow me on Twitter if you want. Captain Two Phones. Captain, the number two, phones. And leave us a comment on the post at pocketnow.com if you want to have a dialogue. We generally don't get to the YouTube comments because we're too busy opening new phones. Thank you once again for watching, and we'll see you next time.